What's going on, people? Hope y'all doing fantastic. Owner Operator School. Ah, oh, boy. <laughs> um, ninety percent of being an owner operator. I'll say eighty-five to ninety percent of being an owner operator is not driving the truck. It's all the other stuff that comes along with it as far as paperwork, load planning, uh, you know, staying compliant with the rules and regulations and and stuff of that nature. Because anybody can go out and just drive a truck from point A to point B, but like I said in my uh, in one of those other videos, probably in, in a handful of them, it's more it's a business, and the, the truck part is just a tool for being in business. And when people get into just business in general, when people get into business in general. Uh, when you're trying to get established and get some money coming in, some cash flow. You're the one that's doing everything. And yeah, you got to do it to get up and running and get yourself uh, established. But then you're going to have to start to delegate or outsource different aspects of your business. Um, now just a little bit about me I have a payroll service I use a payroll service I pay for a payroll service I tell them how much I want to pay myself every week and then every quarter they take uh, taxes out um, because I'm an employee of my uh, my company and Hold on one second. Because I'm an employee of my company, okay? Now, and then I just transfer, you know, from my settlements, I just transfer my pay, you know, from that, you know, to my bank account. Or take it out, one or the other, you know. Sometimes take it out in cash, is easier. Um, so that's one aspect of it. And, you know, it... Um, Another aspect is like let's say you have your authority, right? Now this is this is something that I would do, but I don't have my authority. It's just that I got other things going on right now, so I'm the authority's on hold. Um, is I would utilize a dispatch service. Now what's the role of a dispatch service? A dispatch service is uh, someone that does all your back office work uh, while you're driving the truck. Uh, basically, they take care of the uh, invoicing the customers and the brokers and invoicing, um, uh, not invoicing, but uh, taking care of your, you know, filling out broker packets and uh, detention time and, and stuff like that, all the back office stuff. So if you were leased to a company, you know, it will be, same thing as being leased to a company, but you're just running your own numbers, and you know that's the back office uh, person that does that. Not unless you hire your own people to do that type of stuff. Um, now this video is just in general. Um, so we talked about that. We talked about payroll, um, mechanic, same thing. Uh, some of the easy stuff that you can do on your own. You know, change your oil and uh, grease the truck and. Um, things of that nature but then there's other stuff that you know you got to outsource and uh, get it done that way so uh, you know driving the truck takes a lot of time because there's a lot of things that I would like to do um, but I can't because I'm always in the truck um, there's a lot of things that I would like to learn and I, I can't, I'm not I'm not, I'm not going to say that I can't, but until I get to a certain level, uh, once I get my maintenance account or business account or however you want to call it, 
uh, once I get that account up to a certain level, then I wouldn't have to work as much because in my situation, the truck is paid for, um, my rent is dirt cheap, um, and my expenses are dirt cheap. So, you know, I don't have to run as hard as someone with uh, a lot of overhead and expenses. Um, I was watching this show uh, called The Prophet on uh, CNBC. Now, I very rarely watch TV, but when I do watch TV, I watch two shows, um, three shows. Uh, sometimes I watch porn, uh, po not porn, porn stars, um, The Prophet, and Shark Tank. Why? Because that's it's free. That is free business education when you watch those type of shows. Um, number one, it tells you what stuff is worth from porn stars. Uh, the profit and and Shark Tank, it tells you if you're looking for the educational part of it instead of entertainment, it's showing you uh, why businesses fail, why businesses uh, are in the position that they are in, and what it takes to correct the uh, position that they're currently in, uh, if, if that makes sense. Um, so those are, are some of the TV shows that I watch and I mean, I'm not telling you to, I'm not recommending, I'm just saying that's what I do. Um, and on the profit, I was watching this one episode that this guy was a caterer. He had a catering company and he had a dozen employees working for him. And, but the owner of the company, he pretty much did just about everything. And when I say everything, he did the cooking he did the ordering, he did the order taking, uh, uh, or event planning, and he did everything. Um, which is fine, but he was the only one doing it. And he didn't have any, on it, just going by what was on the TV show, he didn't have any help in those areas. So uh, if he wasn't around that day, I guess that job didn't get done. So, and trucking is a lot like that too. Um, you know, New owner operators, they come in and they, and they, and I was in this category too. Um, and you know, I'm going to do my own taxes. You know, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do everything myself. You know, I'm going to save all this money. I'm going to do everything myself. Okay, well, you're trading time for money. Um, which I mean, that's what it comes down to. So, I'm not saying that. You know, right off the bat, you know, if you get started or, or whatever, that you know, you jump right into this stuff. But yeah, it's going to cost you some money, but at the end of the day, it's going to free you up some time as well. So, and uh, what's our most valuable resource? Time. So, uh, those were the uh, thoughts for today, uh, or this video. I might put one up, another one lay up later. Uh, so, y'all have a good day. We'll see ya.